Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you parameters with functions. So we've created a simple function which, when called, prints out hello world. What you do inside of it is totally up to you. You'll just you know call that code or you'll you know initiate the code when you call it, and you can call it multiple times. Simple stuff. But imagine if you want to do something a bit more with it. Maybe you're creating I don't know some sort of add method. And this add method will add two numbers together. We could, you know, do something along the line of 5 plus 7, which will print out the result of 12. But it doesn't really provide much for us as the developer because it's just printing out literally almost like a literal. It's like just some literal value. If we want to make it a bit more dynamic, what we can do is pass in values. And to do that, you put them in between these brackets. First of all, you put the data type, so int, for example. Then you put the name of the variable. And this is just local to this method, cannot be accessed anywhere else. I'm going to say num1. Then if you want to add another number or another parameter, another argument, you just put comma, then add the next one. Same process, int num2. Got to have unique names, add, you know, variables. You know, the required this could be a string for example the data type doesn't matter you can have as many as you want they can be of any data type as well and if we go here it's getting an error two required arguments expected but zero found now because we have this add method here it can't find an add method without any parameters so you need to pass in some values so if i pass in five and seven to do that you just put the value comma space seven so five is passed into num one seven is passed into num two and now we can do let's say should be num one plus num two there you go twelve if i was to duplicate this one let's say three times let's do minus nine and two which will result in seven and we can do 99 and zero which will give us 99 so as you can see we have this single method it is dynamic because we are able to pass in values and what it does is slightly different every single time obviously you can make it even more complex than this there's a lot more that you can do with parameters i'm going to cover that in subsequent videos if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.